Yeah, that's it. Two hot heads. Where activism happens. If you like music, if you like art, uh, join us. We're walking that way. Some of you have already joined us and are continuing to walk. Five minutes. What inspired you? This could be one of the most important questions of your life, ladies and gentlemen. What inspires you to be happy, alive, living your life? It's all right here. You know? Some material. This. This is your question. <laughs> oh, this is cool. I need to just like do yeah. a little bit. This is good right now. You have just this. That's what I'm saying. It's perfect. Yeah. We'll see unprecedented numbers tonight in the Middle East. Music starts at 9 p.m. This ain't Occupy, folks, but it's better. <laughs> It's like where Mike Can is. Jesus Christ, you're talking about the cops at. Mike Can, cops. It always happens that way at Middle East. It's like they look at the venue. Mike Can's on the venue. I will just go walk around and look a little obvious. Anybody got some weed for sale? So obvious. Oh my god. So the cops are following me. It's pretty much every video I do now. Mike Can, back. About five years ago with Graveyard Barbecue, they did a video in the backyard, and who showed up? The cops. Who was there? Mike Can. We did a battle for the rally. Who was here? The cops were here. Who was here? Mike Can was here. 
cops might can they're always around watch out why do you think they're following me because uh, you're the biggest activist in marijuana and so they just want to see who hangs out with Mike Can. That's what it is. Mike Can, two hot heads on cannabis. I'm telling you, that's it. Two hot heads. Where activism happens. My brother, the king of pot. How's everybody doing out there? Yeah. How do you like the music we got tonight? Nice. You enjoying it? Well, we, got, we, got, we got some great gifts to give away from my sponsors, from Mike's sponsors. And we want to give away some stuff. We feel like giving away something, right, Mike? Yes. And we're going to give away stuff all night, but the big prize at the end. Yeah, the big prizes are at the end. You guys are getting lucky, because there's not enough money to even cover the cost of just this gift right what here. We, yeah. This thing's like three, 400 bucks. This Vaporizer right here. Vapor Brothers. Vapor, Vapor Brothers. Brothers so if you haven't gotten a ticket yet, the odds are in your favor. So buy a ticket. We're giving away stuff all night. Right now, we're going to give away a, a couple t-shirts. What else we got over there? All right, from my sponsor, headshots.com. I want you guys to go check them out. They get some great products. This is one of the products they sent down tonight. This is the Gak Attack. How many of you guys got dirty pipes when you're smoking your greatest tobacco or whatever you smoke? <laughs> well, this thing will clean your pipes really nice. So what I like to do is have Mike draw a number for this GAC attack pack. No, we're gonna do them all at once. We're gonna throw everything at once. Oh, you wanna do it yeah. all at once? We're gonna, someone's gonna walk out of here. Oh, all right. Stuff. And we're also gonna give away a bottle of Bang. Now this is legal, legal stuff. It's made from some great juices, papaya juice, but this stuff clears your head like no other. I want you guys to try it. It's really good, and we're gonna throw it out to the winner of this raffle. What else you got? You got some other stuff, don't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure? oh wait a minute. We got the Mike Can, we got the Mike Can, who is Mike Can t-shirt. Get yours over there, you can also buy them. We also have the King of Pot t-shirts, and let me tell you, we got another raffle going. For anybody wearing a King of Pot t-shirt, like my man right here in the front, we're going to be giving away a Sidewinder pipe, it's worth over a hundred dollars. It'll be drop shipped to you in any color of your choice. So, if you want to know what it looks like, come over to the table. Buy yourself a t-shirt, they're very cheap, they're only $10, and you'll be automatically entered. So that's for another raffle, besides the raffle that you can buy the tickets for. Alright, let's do it. Go ahead, Michael, pull the first number. 363, last three digits is an 087, 087. Anyone got it? 087? You have it? Is this Charlie? Charlie, I just met. Charlie, you gotta wear this shirt at the Freedom Rally this year. Will you wear this shirt? Give back the tickets, you could win again. Wow, I think Charlie's gonna win that vaporizer. He's gonna stack right there. So many stacks. Thank you, Charlie. Congratulations. Get some pictures. Make sure we get some pictures of Charlie. All right. Okay. We're gonna be giving away a lot more stuff. Dollar raffle tickets over there. I want to thank everyone for coming. All the bands. Have a back, my co-host on regular radio, Crespo's here. Yeah, Crespo. And uh, this band right here. They're, uh, I love them. I love them. I saw them the first time at the station. I was walking out of the studio and they were just practicing. And it dropped my jaw. I was so in love with this band. And this, this lady right here. Little War Twins. There are some trading cards over by some Christmas lights on this table. And we, oh, thank you. Thank you, this feathered man right here, Mr. Andrew Mello, who actually first recorded this song with me a long time ago. We have, oh, and right here you have the four string seductress. Yeah, seductress. And on the back, the download for our new single, Shake It Valley High. So. Tonight. It is completely free. If you'd like a t-shirt, you can put something in the bin and we'll get you your size. Thank you so much for having us. You're all amazing. Stick around and be well.
two hot hands for activist matters. Let's hear it for all the bands. Hot the clubs. Little war twins. And solo sex. We're giving away this vaporizer. Vapor Brothers vaporizer. If you got a raffle ticket, you better have it out in your hand right now. I also want to thank all our friends, our crew here. We got DJ Slim here. You know him. Pop Pass Records. We got Relief Magazine over here. Free Mass Media. Yeah! No. Get the fuck out! Get the fuck out! Let's hear it. Come on! Let's go! Oh, the King of Pot! Alright, we're gonna draw a raffle ticket. What do you got? What do you got? You gotta read it because I'm blind. Just read my number. 363 155. Come on, dude. You don't got it. Who's got it? This guy's got it. Get the video. You gotta come on up. You gotta take pictures. You got all the shit. You want everything. You're a fucking lucky star tonight. Get up here. I wanna thank Heather Mac. Heather Mac, my hostess. Two fucking hotheads up on this motherfucker. Yeah, thank you. For a second, you gotta say something before we get going. Before we bring up the gaps. Hey man, I just wanna say I'm very honored to be here tonight. I hope you all have a good time over there. Vote on question three in November, everybody. It's the my dream. It's your dream. Vote yes in November for question three. And uh, on that note, who's next to watch? You'll be out. by wearing your shirt. So, one of the men who's an uh, uh, extra large, I want you to answer one question to me. Alright? Who was the biggest proponent against marijuana in the 1930s? Who helped make marijuana illegal? The Lord Jesus! Who? Uh, I guess you guys don't know. The it ends with an H, ends with an H. Uh, when are we going to legalize marijuana in Massachusetts? What year? Right there, that kid won it. 2016. Four years from now, we're legalizing in the state. So get ready, get active, get involved. Check out the website, whitecamp.net. Two hot heads where activism happens. And is Kamalita here? Kamalita, you should be up here too. You should say something. Where are you, Kamalita? Maybe she's not. I want to thank Kamalita too. And uh, before we end it, yeah, you know Kamalita? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think we're ready. We're going to bring Dex motherfucking Turner from unregularradio.com up here. Let's do this. Yeah, me neither. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for my cam. Give it up for Relief Magazine. I want you to give it up for two high heads on cannabis. And I want you to pay attention to what I'm about to say next. I've traveled around this country. I've been everywhere. I've had the great fortune of being involved in this cannabis legalization movement. And I want to tell all of you, this is not a war on drugs. This is a war on our culture. As soon as somebody stands up and says, I support this artist, I support this speaker, I support this message, 
without them ever saying that they are for cannabis, the government will shut them down. Hell yeah. In Massachusetts, we have the opportunity this November to turn cannabis into medicine while we've already got a decriminalization program in effect. It takes more than all of you showing up to vote because once that vote happens, as soon as people step up and say they're on our side, the police will shut them down. You have to continue the fight. A vote for legalization is a vote for a win. Medical is a step in the process. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to continue the fight. of the movement together. The bowels right? of what? The bowels of the of movement. Of what? The fucking movement. What do you think? The bullshit that goes on. The All backstabbing. Yeah. Who oh, doesn't yeah. like this one? Who hates this one? Yeah. Who doesn't like what this one's doing on the street? Oh, don't give him any money because he ain't no organization. Well, go Fuck yourself, all right? If you're out oh in the street God. and you're doing what it is, yep. right, to yep. get the word across, what does it fucking matter if you're a fucking organization or if you're fucking a person like myself or Mike can on the street? Why is that a problem? I don't know. I don't speak up about anything. But when I see things like that, it frosts my balls, all right? Not against anybody, but I have a reason why I say that. This guy actually went on a fucking radio show and got the governor of Boston to state that he would the not Mass. veto the governor of Massachusetts. The governor of Massachusetts. <laughs> he would not veto the medical marijuana That's bill. Right. Right. Is, the governor of Boston. is there any other organization doing that? No. Have you heard any other organization come out no. and put in their fucking post? Oh, we found out from the fucking governor that he is going to not veto the medical marijuana bill. But Mike goes out there and he takes his time working fucking 70 hours in a fucking hot box car, but he get, makes the time to fucking make the phone call. That means a lot to me. And, 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 and no lie. And it's not because he's my brother or you probably all think that bum buddies or whatever. It's because I love him. All right? He's that too, though. He educates not only me, he educates you on what goes on. So that was very important, and a lot of people don't understand. What he got Governor Deval Patrick to say is very important. It is, it is. For us that are going to vote on this medical marijuana bill. Yeah, That's all I have three. to say. I'm not talking bad about anybody. All I'm saying is if there's somebody on the street that is doing something like this, then what does it matter That's if it's right. an organization or if it's an individual? Oh, yeah. You should support that person, whether it be monetary whether it be anything else, whatever you can give to help that fellow person get the word out, you don't have to be an organization to do that. That's right. End of story. That's all I have to say. We have many phone calls. We're going to try to get to as many as we can. Governor Deval Patrick is here. He awaits your calls. We're going to go right to calls. More calls right after this break. When news breaks, the choice is clear. WBZ News Radio 1030. Let's go back right to the phones. I'm sorry. Mike in Cambridge, uh, you've been very patient, my friend. I'm going to ask you to be as direct uh, and as uh, polite to the governor as you will be. Hi, Mike. Hi, Governor. Hi, How are uh, you? Dan Ray. Hi, I'm, Mike. Uh, I'm, I'm calling you know, about, actually, I just want to comment on Melissa's bill. I'm glad to yeah. see that uh, drug reform, the mandatory minimums, if, if this does get passed, is included. Mm-hmm. I'm happy on that. And I, I'm asking about another thing I've been pushing and working on for a long time, another law, and it's medical marijuana. Mm. The ballot initiative, I want to know if, you know, Governor Patrick, if you would come out and support this, number one. It's on the ballot this fall, right, Mike? I think it is, right? Yes, it is. is. And whether or not 
after the fact whether you will... Other governors in other states, Chris Christie has kind of blocked the New Jersey medical marijuana bill, and uh-huh. I want to know if you will implement this once it is passed, because I'm pretty confident it's going to pass. Well, you have, you two, it, you have two questions. You think yes. it will, Mike? Yeah. Yeah. Mike? I, I'm sorry, you, what was that? You think it will pass? I, I absolutely do. Why, do you, why do you think it will pass? It's polling at like 70%. Is it really? There's no, no, more, no issue more popular in this state. Really? And yeah, you know, just like decrim, it was sixty-five, thirty-five. I mean, that's a forty-point spread. Do you think it gets limited to medical uses, or do you think it's it's the start of something else? Um, I hope it's the start of something yeah. else. I'm a medical patient, but I, I I feel like the the medical just having a medical does make create a little bit of a problem. And yeah. I think it needs to be legalized completely across the board. Um, what yeah. you talk about the mandatory minimums, we turn kids into drug dealers. We're mm. trying to reduce drug use but mm. the kids are the ones selling the drugs selling i the think box. it was i think it was uh, william f buckley jr a famous conservative who said that uh, if you want to deal with the drug problem um take the profit out of it and his point was legalize uh legalized drugs. so i assume you would I, you would endorse medical marijuana no i'm not endorsing it i'm not expressing a point of view um and I'm not dodging it. It's just I I got so much else I'm working okay, on. If it passes, will you enforce it? Well, I you know that's the that's I think what we're supposed to do. Good enough. All right, Mike. There's your answers. Thank All you right, much. Thank you guys. Thank, thank you, you Mike. Good night. Let me go to Wayne and Brock. <coughs> what is this Motley Crue doing here, Glenn? What do you got there? Weed. What kind? Weed. What, what is that called? Okay. Popcorn. <laughs> it's popcorn. I got it specially for tonight's event. Uh, organically oh, grown in the great state of Maine. Do you want some of that, Tommy? I would of course love Tommy wants some. some. The paper's loose on my Tommy, how's that taste? Incredible. You give it to... Very Ooh. puppy. Rich food, perceptions of a madman. Are you a madman? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you are. We worked hard tonight. We deserve that.